Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I'm going to show you how to create some 3D abstract forms in Photoshop. Okay, first step, we're going to color the artboard. So I'm going to go with some colors. Select the brush. Let's go to the layer, right click, go to convert to smart object. And we're going to go to the filter liquify now here you can select the liquify size and make sure to select this one the forward warp tool and we get the pressure pump up the pressure to the maximum and then you can do some interesting things make it abstract you know all right so far it looks something like this i'm gonna click ok from here, we're going to go 3D. So go here to the 3D option, go to new mesh from layer, go to depth, map to and select plane. Wow, look at this. Look at this craziness. So I'm going to activate the 3D options here. And of course, uh, if we're going to right click somewhere here, I can go and we got the style, we got the st solid, you can change to whatever you want. I'm going to go with base color, you know, and of course you can select up here the orbit camera click on it and this way you can see this thing in perspective so it looks pretty wild from here you can go back to oh actually i'm gonna arrange this so i'm gonna rotate with this little and select this one and we're gonna zoom this in actually you know what i'm gonna rotate this because I think this one looks even cooler. So I'm going to leave it like this. You can go back to the layer here, you know, and this way you have all the options. And what else you can do with this? You can basically import this into Adobe Dimension. So what you can do is go to 3D, export 3D layer and go and select it as SDL. You know you can enter the dimension you want also and click OK so in Adobe dimension basically this is a different one you can go to file go to import and 3d model control Y so basically this way you can import it and you can play around with the lights and get a more realistic look out of this so after it renders it, it looks really good you know in Photoshop it doesn't add all that good stuff but here it's it's way more wild the only problem is that uh, you know the colors won't be separated like in Photoshop anymore but you can add some nice materials so yeah, this was it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.